MyWork is your home base in Tempo Timesheets for Cloud, where you can log your time on Jira issues and even plan your time for the coming weeks. In this video, we'll look at a few ways in which you can log your time using the MyWork calendar. We'll follow along with John, who's a typical Jira user, and he wants to log his time for the week. When he's in Tempo, John can click the MyWork icon on the sidebar to get back to it at any point. The calendar view is shown by default when MyWork opens up. It displays large cards like a calendar for both planned time and work logs that show time already spent on issues. Before logging his time, John checks the time period up here, which is the current week by default. He clicks the back arrow to check what he logged last week, but comes back to the current week. Notice that the current day is shaded, so it's always easy to find quickly. To log his time, John moves his mouse over any day, and he sees the Log Time and Plan Time buttons. He clicks Log Time, and its dialog shows up. And here's a tip. You can press the W key anywhere in Tempo to open up the Log Time dialog. John now needs to fill in the information here. First, he selects a Jira issue that he's worked on. Then he adds a description of what he did for that issue. Note that if this is left blank, a generic working on statement is added by default. The date is filled in for today, but he realizes that he should log this time to yesterday, so he clicks here and chooses that date. If he needed to specify which hours he worked on this issue, he could add that in the from and to fields. But since it doesn't matter exactly when he did the work, he just adds the number of hours in the worked field. The estimated hours remaining for this issue are automatically updated after John enters his worked hours, but he can also edit them here. When he's all done, John clicks Log Time, and the work log shows up on that day as a card. Work logs are identified by a small green icon. To move that card, John simply drags and drops it on another day. And to copy it, he presses the Ctrl or Alt key for Windows, or the Command or Option key on a Mac, and then drops the copy on another day. And to delete the work log, he clicks in the corner and selects Delete. So after all that, John realizes that he logged time to the wrong JIRA issue. Luckily, he doesn't need to delete this work log and create a new one. Instead, he just clicks the corner again and selects Move, then finds the correct issue, clicks Move, and he's all done. Another way that John can log his time in the calendar is by using the Issue Side Panel. He clicks the double arrow in the bottom corner here, and this panel opens, displaying all of his JIRA issues. To customize what's displayed here, he can click the gear icon and we'll cover how to do this in another video. Now John can simply drag an issue and drop it on the day that he wants, and then fill out the log work dialog. The calendar opens with the list view by default, but there's also the time view, which John opens by clicking the little icon here. This view displays the work log and plan cards in a format that's more like an agenda and shows where there are time gaps or overlaps in John's logged and planned time. To log his time, John can use the Issue Side Panel here like he did in the List View, by dragging an issue to a day, and then filling out the Log Work dialog. Another way John logs his time is by going to the day that he wants, clicking at the Start Time for the Work Log, and then dragging down to the End Time. When he releases the mouse, the Log Work dialog opens with the range of hours worked already filled in. He adds the rest of the information and logs his time. He can move the work log on the same day to change the start and end times. Or he can drag it to another day. To copy the work log, John presses the Ctrl or Alt key for Windows or the Command or Option key on a Mac, and then drops the copy on another day. So those are a few different ways in which you can log your time in My Work Calendar.
You just have to pick the way that works the best for you. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other videos for Temple Timesheets for Cloud to learn how to get the most out of it.